Hey, good evening, y'all. Anthony Mitchell here, day 72 down. Didn't really do much today. Uh, spent all morning with my mom. She had to go get her car service, so we went to breakfast at Mel's Diner, then we went and walked around. She was looking for some seat covers and stuff, so just hung around. Walked around Big Lots and Old Time Pottery. Then dropped her off, then I came home and waited for the little man to get off the bus. Um, watched a couple movies while I was waiting. And then let's see, after that, walked around red, went around my mom's hot after the little man got out the bus, he rode around the scooter, I did my workout, my strong lift, um, then came back to the apartment, watched a couple more movies, hung out, I if I do doing much today, at 7 o'clock, what? Um, conducted the presentation, the review presentation of the wellness company, which again, nobody showed up for. Seriously, y'all, if you're going to stay closed minded and not at least educate yourself on a way for you to enhance your health and uh, achieve your goals, don't complain when your life doesn't get any better. Because just like everything else in life, y'all, you have to change in order for things to change in your life. So if you're not where you want to be, your health ain't where you want it to be, hey, educate yourself on a better way. Because doing the same thing and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. So don't think that's going to happen for you. And then right now, the littlest one don't want to go to bed. The littlest one's complaining. Me and him already had a bad day today. After I tell my mom to go drop off, pick her up from dropping her car off, we went to breakfast, had to leave breakfast early because he missed the bus. Pretty sure he's just trying to miss school today. He's hoping we'll let him stay home, but I, I took him to school. Oh well. Because seriously, y'all, if you don't control your schedule, it means somebody else controls it. Just like kids, they don't control their lives. Their lives are controlled by school and by their parents. Even though every little kid in this world thinks that they know what's best for them, they honestly don't. They just want to do whatever the hell they want and not try to get any better in life. That's right, don't get wrong. Like, uh, school is an awesome endeavor to learn, to network, to grow your friendships. And especially when you're in elementary and middle school, like you're learning some so if you're actually using life, everyone needs to know common sense, common math, how to read, write, all that good stuff. Now, call it us a different story. Like, I have my business degree, I have uh, associates in sports, kind of like, but honestly, everything I learned was outdated. Like, everything I learned in business school didn't teach me anything about running a business. The only way I learned how to grow a business or even um, conduct the business I pretty much learn from trial and failure and from learning from mentors and frankly that's why I don't do traditional business but like everyone even in business class like you're, you're tight starting out to keep the expenses low you do all the work yourself no that's um, giving ownership of your life to your business Personally, I prefer um, controlling my time, my schedule, so I choose to grow a home-based business. And like I said, that's why I love the three-step system that I learned about last year, the Own Your Life system. Because the system is so simple, anybody can do it. It doesn't require selling, and the best part is it won't take much of your time. But starting a home-based business is the best way for the average person to learn how to own their lives. So follow the system, grow a home-based business, and take ownership of your life. I said, I, I'm not financially free yet, and I still got a lot to go, a lot to learn. But, I'm getting better every day, and making progress every day. So y'all, you know, if you want to continue to follow me on this journey, subscribe to my channel. I'll try to put out some tips for you. Have a wonderful night.